Well, when the when EPS 111, 112, they, the um, engineering strategies and practice was being put together, the decision was made to have the lectures, a single lecture for all the students. And what this means is that at U of T we have this one large lecture that seems like a big boogeyman sometimes. But we do break the students down into these breakout groups to work on their team projects. And there's a faculty member or an outside alumnus that comes in and is project manager for those groups. It means that they, they get a lot more individual attention and, um, and of course there's a teaching assistant as well. So there's, uh, it, it allows us to distribute our resources in a, in a reasonable way use them where it counts and not where it doesn't so much. Well, what we found with the class is that there's no point in having separate lectures for smaller groups. The lectures would be exactly the same and, and uh, not a very good use of resources. So the, the lectures are done in the large hall one, one shot to everybody. There actually, we do audio recording as well, and we post the audio recordings. The, um, then the groups break out into teams. They break out uh, for two reasons. One is that the teams themselves are working on individual projects. And so we have, we have projects for each team. As I said, about five, uh, five of these teams will be with a project manager. And what that means is that that project manager can get around and get to know the students, get to interact with them, and provide a little bit of uh, a more personal experience. So there's a course coordinator who oversees all the logistics of the thing and he has actually a couple of administrative assistants. The, then there's a communications instructor, main communications instructor, who also lectures with me. So he does perhaps a quarter of the lectures. I've done the rest this term, although normally there'll be three of us. Then the students are divided into teams of approximately six and we have project managers that take care of about five teams in smaller breakout sessions of a couple of hours a week and then there are communications instructors, I believe five of those that uh, are directly responsible for the communications aspect of the of the course. So they will um, they will take care of any writing problems or this sort of thing, and they will meet with students and student teams that want to meet them outside of regular hours. And their teaching assistants. Every one of these project managers will also have a teaching assistant. So it's a huge number of people you can imagine.